Hello gardeners and welcome back to Kilimo Corner. I am Fita Wamugi and today we are diving into a fundamental yet often overlooked aspect of gardening. Seed spacing. Whether you are a green thumbed veteran or just starting out, getting your seed spacing right is crucial for a successful and bountiful garden. So, let's start with the basics. What exactly is seed spacing? Simply put, seed spacing refers to the distance you leave between each seed when planting. But it's much more than just avoiding overcrowding. Proper spacing is vital for ensuring that each plant has the best chance to grow strong and healthy. Why does seed spacing matter so much? First, let's talk about resource competition. When seeds are planted too close together, their roots compete for water and nutrients. This competition can lead to stunted growth and reduce yields. By spacing seeds correctly, you give each plant ample access to these essential resources, promoting robust growth and a more productive garden. Another important factor is disease management. Proper spacing improves air circulation around your plants. Good airflow reduces humidity, which in turn lowers the risk of fungal infections and other diseases. Additionally, well-spaced plants are easier to inspect for pests and manage during harvesting, making your garden maintenance much simpler. For instance, leafy greens like lettuce and radishes can be planted closer together because they have smaller root systems. These plants thrive even when planted a bit tightly. On the other hand, Larger plants like tomatoes, corn, and squash require more space. These plants have extensive root systems and large canopies that need room to grow and access sunlight. So, how do you determine the right spacing for your seeds? Always refer to the seed packet or plant label. This will provide specific spacing recommendations based on the mature size and growth habits of the plant. Following these guidelines ensures that each plant has enough room to reach its full potential. If you are starting seeds indoors, it's important to thin them out once they've germinated. This means removing excess seedling to achieve the recommended spacing. Thinning is crucial because it prevents overcrowding and ensures that each plant gets enough light and nutrients. For outdoor planting, using a ruler or garden line can help you achieve even spacing. You might also find planting templates or spacing tools useful for more precise planting. And remember, it's better to give your plant a bit more space than too little. You can always thin them out later if necessary. Consider using a garden planner or app to design your garden layout. These tools can help you visualize your planting plan and keep track of spacing requirements. For some crops like carrots and beets, direct sowing is ideal as these plants naturally space themselves as they grow. In conclusion, proper seed spacing is a straightforward yet vital practice that can make a significant difference in your garden health and productivity. By giving each seed the space it needs, you are setting the stage for a thriving garden and a plentiful harvest. Thank you for joining us on Kilimo Corner. We hope you found this guide on seed spacing helpful. For more gardening tips and tricks, tune in next Wednesday on Raushwa and happy planting and may your garden flourish. I've been your farm advisor, Fitawamugi.